Hey guys, another right dev here, welcome back to another mini tutorial. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom NPC face on Roblox Studio. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So before we do anything, we're going to need an NPC to put our face on. So in order to create an NPC, we're going to go to the plugins tab on the top of the screen. Then we're going to go ahead and find the rig builder plugin. We're going to click on it and we can insert a block rig which will create a little dummy for us now what we need to do is actually make our face for him so you can use any photo editing software for me i'm just going to use pixlr e because it's what i use to make my thumbnails and everything once you're in your photo editing software you're going to create a new project and give it a square dimension so like a thousand times a thousand pixels and from there, you're just going to create whatever face you want. Try to draw your face within this blue box though, or else your face might be cut off in Roblox Studio. So once you have your face drawn, of course, you're probably going to want to make it a lot prettier than mine is. Um, but that's not the point. Once you have your face, you're going to go ahead and save it and make sure that it's a PNG. Once you have your file, you're going to go ahead and head on back to your game. And you're going to go ahead and open up the dummy. So you can click on him. And then you're going to open him up in the explorer. And you're going to find his head. You're going to open up his head. And you'll find a face right here. And in the properties tab, you're going to see this texture area. So you click on it and it brings up this little box thing. What you're going to do is you're going to click add image. And then from there, you're going to choose a file. Once you find your file, you're going to go ahead and click on it and click open. And then you're going to name it. So for me, I can just name it smile and click create. Now, once it's done, you can see that your face will be successfully added onto this dummy. Now, it is a little bit cut off and that is because the head is a circle. If the head were to be a square like this, it wouldn't be quite as cut off as you can see. But anyways, that is how you make your own custom NPC head. If you want to learn how to import an NPC head from the Roblox Marketplace, click on this video to the left right here.